So today is Sunday and I'm going to take you through a 40, 30, 30 day of eating. The book just launched and this is the first ratio in there. I'm actually going to share with you a couple recipes from the book and I'll link out to them as well so that you can implement them in your macro cycling. Uh, we're on a walk right now taking coconut for a nice little walk because it's recovery day. Uh, I usually do two to three days on of intense workouts and then a day off. So this Sunday is recovery. Sometimes we do one of our biggest lifts then because it's nice to have it on a day where we don't have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I have my protein coffee shake with me because that's how I like to start my mornings. I actually share that with you in the first day in the life of. So if you need that recipe, you can check it out there. But I'm going to share some great different meals that you can make so that you can still enjoy delicious tasting food while getting results. So let's have some fun on the walk and then get to some eating. A day in the life of coconut. So we're just finished with the walk and we're gonna drop coconut off because she is hot and tired and all frisbeed out. And then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's to get all the supplies for the week. So you'll get to come with me on a shop and then we'll make some delicious breakfast and enjoy some 40, 30, 30 dishes. So it's time to start prepping and these are a couple of the recipes I'm going to make. I'm actually going to show you some variations of these because while it's fun to use the recipes, it's also fun to make tweaks. So I have some of the stuff laid out here so we can make some the basil mini frittatas, but unfortunately Trader Joe's was out of basil, so I'm going to make a variation of those and I like using some ground beef as well because that adds a little extra flavor and sometimes honestly, turkey and chicken get get boring. So when we add in some different meats, some different proteins, we can keep things interesting and fun and delicious. So we're gonna make the basil mini frittatas. We're gonna do some sweet potato, chipotle chicken sweet potatoes. I'm gonna show you how to make the protein granola, which I actually shared already because it's one of my favorites. I'm a little obsessed with it right now. And then we're gonna make some cinnamon vanilla protein balls, which are delicious, which I'll link out to as well. People at the macro cycling event really, really like those, so I wanted to share that recipe. And then I'll prep some protein for tacos. It's nice to prep some protein even for the week, so if you do like ground beef in like sort of bulk or chicken in bulk, because that way you can use it as tacos, which I'll do. I'll do salads sometimes. I'm not the hugest fan of salads, so those are limited. But then I can put it with broccoli, I can put it in stir fries. So just by having the protein prepped already, I can then add some variations during the week so I don't get bored, but it's almost more of a microwave meal versus having to cook everything from scratch every single time. But we'll do some meal prep for the week and here are some of the delicious things that we're gonna do. And they're coming out of the book. So get into cooking. so I can relax this afternoon and then have everything ready to just enjoy, maybe answer some more questions, answer some emails, get everything prepped for next week, but get to relax.
frozen. Uh, you can store them in the refrigerator, but they're all ready to eat and enjoy the cinnamon vanilla protein balls. now finished prepping everything for the day. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work. Uh, I'm actually gonna head outside now and do a little break, a little jump rope, a little booty burner with the mini band, get some sun. All right, gonna jump some rope. Coconut's gonna hang out. She's uh, happy just to be outside. But gonna jump some rope and do a little booty burner, get out in the sun a little bit more because it feels really good. Then go have some lunch. So worked out, showered, because I felt disgusting, put on my very nice hug me and die t-shirt, which Amber got me, shows how much I like hugs. <laughs> uh, big gym joke, mythology growing. Uh, but I'm now gonna make lunch, so I prepped all of the, the stuff for lunch already, and now what I just have to do is uh, hollow out or take out the potato, mix it with the chicken, and then take all of this goodness and combine it together so it's nice and hot so the meal is fresh, and then I'll have leftovers for a couple days as well. So we're gonna start prepping that. was a little jealous of the potato chicken mixture cooking, so we decided we would do some some tricks and some tr to get some treats. All right, so jump, jump, sit, down, over. Oop! Say hi to the foam roller. Leave it. Leave it. Coconut. Should we tell Coconut to go get her treat? Okay, go get it. Time for dinner. I uh, did a little bit more work, had some fun relaxing a little bit, just chilled out Sunday, gotta chill a little bit. And now I'm going to use some leftover meat and everything. So the leftover meat, I'm gonna pull out some corn tortillas, um, but I'm gonna heat up some tacos. And because I prepped a lot of stuff earlier, I don't have to do that much work and I'm tired and feeling lazy, so that's perfect. sitting down to enjoy my dessert. Took a bite already and then I was like, oh, gotta tell you guys, if you liked all the foods today, if you're ready to start macro cycling, if you wanna do 40, 30, 30 and you want some guidance, 
pick up the book. I have sample days, I have all the recipes from today. Also check the video description. I will link out to all of the recipes so that you guys can try them. I'll link out to the booty burner workout as well. Hope you enjoyed a 40-30-30 day of eating. I'm gonna go back to eating my protein granola and relax. Bye guys.